gon' drown when I'm in it. It's game four of the NBA Finals. The Pelicans have set the tone of the series up two games to one. Can they maintain their composure and take a commending 3-1 lead? Now, the test awaits as they face off against the Atlanta Hawks. Which heroes will rise? The NBA playoffs start now. It's the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. The championship is almost within reach. And with the series standing at 2-1, we could be looking at a make-or-break game. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Barry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. Hey, Allie. Well, DeJounte Murray's overcome a lot. Fell to the 29th pick in 2016 over concerns about his tough past. Then an ACL tear cost him his third season. Last year, in All-Star, he said, quote, there's nothing like being respected, working hard, and being willing to learn. I'm from Seattle. We're built for this. Brian? Great story, Ali. Thank you. Let's take a look at our starters for Atlanta. Young runs point with Murray at the two. Collins plays the four with Capella at the five. And it's Hunter in at the three, the small forward. And for the Pelicans, Ingram and Zion, the former Dukies, in at forward. C.J. McCollum is out there with Josh Richardson. And it's Valanchunas in at the center position. So Atlanta will get the first possession. Now here's Hunter. Outside Young. Pass to Collins. And stolen by Williamson. Outside Ingram. McCollum outside. 4-3. Gets the three to fall. And CJ has such trust in the mechanics of his shot. He gets the ball. He's able to drop right into that J. That's it. And so it looks like it'll be Atlanta's ball. Collins outside. Back to Murray. Clock at six. Let's the three fly. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. There's McCullough with the three. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. And the CJ saying, not so fast. I'm not letting you get away from us tonight. There's the return payback three. McCollum's gone a perfect two for two from beyond the arc. Pass to Young. Three-pointer. And the Hawks with another three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. New Orleans has gone two of two at the perimeter. Hunter against Ingram. Now Richardson. Back to Ingram. Over Hunter. The shot by Ingram, no good. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Young with it, guarded by Valanciunas. Richardson against Young, to the inside. Here's Williamson. Atlanta with the rebound. Can't blame him, just trying to take what the defense allows. Hunter passes to Murray, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Almost converts despite the contact. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And Murray drops them both. The Pelicans have gone just two for four from the floor. Richardson, the pass to Valanchunas. McCollum with it. 
Feeds over Young. Shot's good by McCollum. McCollum's got eight. He gives CJ that kind of shot, and he's going to knock it down. He'll exploit the defense all night long. Collins outside. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Here's Young. Collins with a screen on McCullough. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Well, a good start here. That's Trey for Trey, and that's Spanish for three. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Richardson, the pass to Valanciunas. Here's McCollum, and it's blocked by Collins. Good timing defensively. Collins just up there, the long arms, and quick off the deck. Pass to Capella. From 12 feet, and again, it's Atlanta. Now they can't miss. Four for four, and warming up the burners. Now Valanchunas. McCollum outside. Back to Valanchunas. Yep, that one goes. The Hawks have gone 4 of 4 from the floor. Perfect start. Outside Murray. The kick to Hunter. Capella screen on McCollum. Young from long range. Valanchunas with a rebound. After nailing the first four shots of the game, some relief for the defense. They finally miss one. Inside, here's Ingram. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Well, he's just so long, able to get to that rim pretty quick. Atlanta's gone two for three from outside the arc. Ball will be against Brandon Ingram. That'll be a second foul of the game. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. Murphy, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And he lobs it up top. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. To the left side wing for three. Here's Valanciunas. Deflected. Great defense. Stingy was Hunter on that play, and a great reaction. That's firing his team up. Young, Murray from outside. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Three points. Murray's got eight points. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. McCollum with it. Give him eight. Pass to Williamson. I know C.J. plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. The Hawks leading. Outside Young. with the big block. Murray passes to Young. Collins with a screen on McCullum. Richardson against Murray. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Atlanta? Well, they found a group. And it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out a great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. And the Pelicans making a change here. Nance has checked in. Now here's Valanciunas. Tipped away. McCullum outside. Just four to shoot. Nance with a screen on Young. Richardson for three. 
second chance shot. And Valanciunas with the lay-in. You know, big guys like Valanciunas have spent a lot of time in this league understanding where the ball is going to come off of that rim on a miss. Using great position. And Young gets it to go. For New Orleans, they've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. McCullum pass to Nance. To the wing on the left. Pass to Murphy. Nance with it. Shot clock at six. For three. McCullum hits the three-pointer. McCullum's got 11. CJ just so smooth and is a marksman from three. Young, the pass to Collins. Ranked it in off the glass. And the Hawks lead by two. This quarter belongs to them, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. The Pelicans have got 8 of 15 shots to go. McCullum against Young. McCullum outside. And another basket for New Orleans. Just always appreciate the way that C.J. McCollum is such a natural scorer. Young, the pass to Capella. Here's Murray. There's the block. And the ball is out of bounds. It was last touched by Richardson. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. And the Hawks making a change here. Akangu's checked in for Capella. Johnson comes in for John Collins. Bay, he's checked in for Hunter. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Trey Young. Now Bogdanovich does those things that go underappreciated on the stat sheet, but much appreciated by the coaching staff. Such a valuable player. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Here's Murphy. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Murray. Pass to Johnson. Fires the three. Counted from distance. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches. And both of the teams feeling confident right now. Here's Jones. Murphy's shot is off. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's Bay. Pass to Okongwu. Now Murray from 18 feet away. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. And it's a five-point Atlanta lead. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Nance outside. To the wing, right side. And it's Alvarado missing. Atlanta's gone four or five from distance here in the first quarter. Murray finds Johnson. Fires from 14. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Murray's got 16 points now. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Pass to Murphy. Here's Alvarado. Outside Jones. And scores off the crossover. Got his man all tangled up. I mean, serious crossover. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Johnson passes to Murray. And 
give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the first quarter. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Murphy. Let's it go from deep. Sinks the tray. Five points in the game. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Here's Murray. 18 points for him. Here's a Kongwu. Down low. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Well, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. The Pelicans trail. Nance outside. Outside Jones. Three left to play in the first quarter. Hernan Gomez gets the bucket. Uh, really, Hernan Gomez does things the right way, this time executing in the screen and roll. Now Bogdanovich. Outside Johnson. Can he keep it going? And there's Murray. That one's good. On the assist by Johnson. Ooh, seven for nine in the first quarter. He's on fire. Here's Alvarado. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Ooh, stolen by Murray. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. A Kongwu with the bucket. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. Here's Alvarado, defended by Murray. There's 14 seconds left in the first quarter. Just five on the clock. Outside Jones. Over Bogdanovich. And another one falls for New Orleans. And so it's DeJounte Murray making things happen for the Atlanta Hawks. He's been productive scoring the ball. He's got 20 points so far. Back to the game after this break. We've seen from the Hawks. What's your take so far? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. I couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. Here's Richardson. Zion and Valanciunas playing up front. Josh Richardson out there with C.J. McCollum. And it's Ingram in at the three. That's the Pelicans five. Another three for New Orleans. Yeah, the fluid shooting motion of Ingram makes him a real threat to knock down these corner triples. Atlanta's gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Outside Young. Right wing. Here's Collins. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Collins has got his second basket. Yeah, you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to, but not him. New Orleans has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Richardson finds Ingram. Valanciunas with it. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Valanciunas has got six points. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Pass to Hunter. To the paint. Here's a Kongwu. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. He does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down.
And for the Pelicans, they're shooting 64% for the game. Amazing. Now here's McCollum. He's got 13. Young from long range. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Quick to set his feet and quick with that release as Trey knocks one down. Young's gone two of three shooting from distance here. Here's McCollum and Young with the block. Collins outside. Another three for Atlanta. And give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. McCullum, it's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Capella, he's checked in for Kongwu. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line. And C.J. McCollum just relied upon for the incredible leadership qualities he possesses. That kind of respect comes right away when C.J. steps into the locker room. Now here's Hunter. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And they pick up two. It's just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Valentunas. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. Valentunas sets a screen. Here's Richardson. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Awesome seeing Richardson get a little tricky with the ball. Some fancy moves there. Griffin passes to Collins. McCullum against Young. And he trains him. A solid five for six now. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Following the score by Atlanta. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. And stolen by Williamson. Pass to Ingram. Three-pointer. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got three assists in the game. Left side young. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. For New Orleans, they've got five of seven shots to go in the second. Williamson passes to Valanchunas. Now McCullum fires for three. The rebound by the Hawks. Capella's got four rebounds now. Ah, you love basketball. Couldn't miss in the first quarter. Now can't make it in the second quarter. Gotta be eating at him just a bit. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Williamson. Pass to McCullum. Down to five on the shot clock. Outside Ingram. Floats one up. Second shot opportunity. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. And Zion has great potential as both an offensive and defensive rebounder with that kind of energy. That's good from Williamson. For Atlanta, they've gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Young, the pass to Capella. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Ingram against Hunter. Now here's McCullum. The D's right on him. And Young with the block. This is great. That's a great sign. Trey Young out there and playing defense. Pass to Capella. Stolen by Valanchunas. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Here's McCullum. 
The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And you can tell they're in sync right now, expertly turning the steal into fast break points. The free throw drops for McCollum. Here's Young. 12 points for him. Atlanta calls timeout. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout. Hunter passes to Young. Here's Griffin. And the shot goes in. And the Hawks lead by three. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Kicks it out to Williamson. Pass to Richardson. 6 to shoot. Valanchunas sets a screen. A step back shot. Richardson, that's good. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. The Hawks have gone 7-8 for eight now in the second quarter. Young with it. Pass to Capella. Now Hunter. The jump hook. Rebounded by New Orleans. McCullum outside. Outside Ingram. Paddles through traffic and lays it in. Ingram's got eight points in the quarter. Atlanta's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Young, the pass to Collins. Hunter with the ball. Fades. And too long on the shot. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Griffin passes to Hunter. Capella inside. Covered by Ingram. Pass to Young. This one for three. And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. Slowly building up steam. Hit one from range in the first. He's hit two here in the second. New Orleans calls timeout. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. And the Pelicans will go for a different look here. Nance, he's checked in for Valanchunas. Murphy comes in for Zion Williamson. Jones, he's checked in for Richardson. And Alvarado's subbed in for McCullum. Now here's Jones. And here's Ingram outside. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got five rebounds in the game. May passes to Young. He takes it in. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. Solid in the first. Fantastic here in the second. He was just waiting for the moment. Here's Ingram. He's got ten. Pass to Murphy. Bay against Ingram. Shoots over Bay. And again, New Orleans, no good. Atlanta's gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Bogdanovich with it. He's picked up by Jones. Basket's good. And now it's a six-point Atlanta lead. Bogdanovich, we saw a little bit of this during the All-Star weekend. He can play with a little bit of flair. And you know he's confident when he starts to show those signs. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Alvarado. On the wing, Jones. That's the screen. Five to shoot. Stolen by Capella. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Now here's Bogdanovich. There's Young with the three. That one's off. Shooting seven for ten now. Here's Alvarado. Guarded by Young. And they call an illegal screen here. 
And they just keep making mistakes. I mean, that's back-to-back -back turnovers, which easily could have been prevented. Hernan Gomez is checked in for New Orleans. Akongwu's checked in for Atlanta. Murray comes in for Trey Young. Atlanta's gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Takes a 13-footer. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Here's Murphy. Five points in the game. Pass to Alvarado. Looking to end the run. He's now one for two with that bucket. No way he's going to pass that shot up. He is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Dance against Johnson. Now Murray. Murphy pulls it in. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Alvarado. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Over Murray. And counted from 12 feet. You have to appreciate guys who can work the mid-range area. It's clearly how you keep defenses honest. Oh man, that is just easy for him out there. At his size with that kind of touch, that is money. Now here's Johnson. Five points in the game. Picked up by Kongu. Here's Murray. Goes back up. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Murphy. Defended by Murray. Here's Alvarado. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Atlanta's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. And there's Murray. That one's good. On the assist from Bay. Murray's got 23. Picking up right where he left off. Hit two triples in the first quarter. Now he gets another to fall. And New Orleans shooting about 58% so far in the second. Jones up top. Defended by Bogdanovich. Now you don't see a lot of shot blocks from Bogdanovich, but he is big enough to get it done. Murray with it. Nance covering. It's stolen by Nance. Jones against Murray. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Murphy. Back to Nance. On the wing, Jones. Shot clock at five. And the Pelicans miss again. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the boards. Murray passes to Bay. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. And now a seven-point Hawks lead. And Bay drains the triple. Here's Alvarado. Here's Hernan Gomez. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's Atlanta closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Looking to run whenever they can. That's part of why they lead. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Trey, you've made it look easy so far. How have you been able to pick them apart? Uh, I'm just taking what the defense is giving me. Uh, open driving lanes. Uh, they're leaving some of our bigs open. Uh, pick and roll, things like that. We just got to see to do it and uh, try to get the win. Guys, reading the defense is something that he's pretty good at. Thanks so much, Trey. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. for joining our halftime broadcast here in game four where it's been a strong start for the Atlanta Hawks. They've come away with easy buckets in transition, really pushing the tempo every chance they get, keeping the D on his heels. An aggressive approach that's been working all night. Checking out how the Hawks are doing in this series not the position they'd hoped for coming into the series. Home court advantage relinquished. And if they lose tonight, Kenny, they'll be in a bad spot. Yeah, they don't want to be down 3-1. Too hard to make up that kind of crap. That's why this game is pivotal. piv vi -tid. Just like it sounds. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. Welcome you back to Game 4, folks. Thanks for joining us. You know, DeJounte Murray has been exceptional here, guys. 
He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. And you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. On the court for the Hawks. Hunter is the three with Collins at the four. Young runs point with Murray at the two. And it's Capella in at the five. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Murray passes to Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. Things are starting to come together for them. And the lead is starting to grow, too. Coaches always talk about the first five minutes of the third quarter. They have definitely increased their energy level here. New Orleans has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Young against McCollum. Pass to Valentunas. Excellent D there from Capella. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Young with it. Now Capella. Baseline jumper. It's deflected. You can feel the presence as Valentunas gets himself in the right spot. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Valentunas with a screen on Murray. Here's McCollum. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on Capella. First one falls for him. It's both from the strike. The Hawks leading. Outside Murray. Capella finds Collins. Murray against Richardson. From 12 feet, the three, Collins. The shot won't fall. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. And McCollum slams it in. And Ingram and his court awareness continue to grow. A terrific dime there. And here's Murray. Give him 23. To the inside. The layup off target. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. McCollum, pass to Richardson. And here's Valanciunas. Outside Ingram. Capella with a block. And Capella, one of the best shot blockers in the NBA. You can see his timing on that play. Now Young. 17 points in the game. The three-pointer off the mark. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. Pass to Williamson. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Young, the pass to Capella. Back to Young. Six on the shot clock. And he gets it to go. Young's got 19 points. Well, you got to take some chances, and Young will do that, challenging the defense that time. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. They're yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Now here's McCollum. Give him 23. Valentunas finds Ingram. Shoots over Young. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got 12 points. I'd like to see that as Ingram hits a shot from the mid-range. And open some things up. Up top, Collins. Covered by Williamson. Collins passes to Murray. Shoots from 14. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. He's got 25. The Pelicans have got just two of six in the second half. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Alan Tunis with a screen on Murray. Pass to McCollum. Takes the three. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got rebound number eight now. Here's Young. The Pelicans pull it in. Now here's Ingram. 12 points for him. Now 
here's McCollum. Alan Tunis with a screen on Young. Fires in the triple. Is it possible his sweet touch is getting sweeter, guys? Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Young against McCollum. Outside Young. Lays it up and banks it in. Young's got 21. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. And so it's New Orleans with it. They trail by six. Pass to Valanciunas. Capella with a block. And as it goes out of bounds, New Orleans will keep possession. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. And the Hawks making a change here. Griffin's checked in. Here's Richardson. Six to shoot. Alan Tunis with a screen on Griffin. Here's Richardson. Nails it with a hand in his face. Richardson's got six. Richardson not easy to contain, and he's used to scoring on aggressive defense. Young, the pass to Hunter. Fires the three. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got assist number five here tonight. Now he shot a lower than average volume here tonight, but his efficiency doing it has helped the team build the lead. Now here's Ingram. He's got 12 from the baseline. And another one falls for New Orleans. Atlanta's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Murphy, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Jones comes in for Richardson. Ingram against Hunter. Outside Young. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Atlanta. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Now here's Griffin. Here's a Kongwu. Down to five on the shot clock. Young misses. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Ingram against Capella. Pass to Murphy. Back to Ingram. On the wing, Jones. Defended by Bogdanovich. Who poked away. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. Inside. Here's Capella. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And they've really managed to dominate inside. New Orleans making some changes. Hernan Gomez has checked in for Ingram. And Alvarado's subbed in for C.J. McCollum. And a change for the Hawks. Base checked in. Capella has finished in the top three in offensive rating for a couple years now. And he's up there in most years with the highest field goal percentage in the league. Jones from outside. Rebound Atlanta. Capella's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Bay outside. Pass to Griffin. Bay outside. Shot clock at six. Now Griffin takes a three. Gets the three ball to go. Griffin's got five now. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. 
Nance the screen. Jones, the pass to Nance. Rejected by a Kongwu. And they'll keep possession. Pass to Jones. Here's Murphy. And the Pelicans miss again. Atlanta's gone two for five from three since halftime. Griffin with it. He's got five. Here's Capella. It's blocked. It's not with extreme athleticism that really gets to that shot, but the anticipation and the timing, those help. And Clint Capella picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Outside Jones. Hernan Gomez sets a screen. Just five to shoot. Oh, a magnificent rejection. And since halftime, they've really turned up defensively. Poke loose. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Jones. And so the ball out of bounds. Jones touched it last. Johnson, he's checked in for the Hawks. Jalen Johnson. The Hawks have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Bay with it. Picked it out of midair. Outside Jones. Pass to Murphy. Here's Nance. Here's Murphy. He's got five. Five on the clock. Here's Jones. And it's blocked. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. DeJounte Murray's checked in for Griffin. For the Hawks. DeJounte Murray. And the Hawks shooting about 53% on the third. A very good number. Murray passes to Bay. Down low. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. The free throw drops from Murray. And here are the Pelicans now. 17-point game. Timeout call. The Pelicans. They're giving up a lot of points in the paint. That's something they have to address here. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. Make the adjustment. Unable to get the ball in bounds. And they got called for a five-second violation. Ooh. Talk about a way to deflate the team. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Pass to Bogdanovich. Jacks up a three. They get it again. Great positioning on the putback. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Nance outside. Outside Jones. Looking to win the drought. Pelicans keep it alive. Here's Murphy. On target from range. Give him eight points now. Well, Nance is just such a cerebral player out there. Does a good job of trying to be a threat with the assist. Atlanta's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. There's the screen by Johnson. Murray passes to Bay. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Three. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. We've got 108 left in the third. Outside Jones. Erdogan Gomez sets a screen. Jones misses. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Pass to Murray. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. And the Hawks tack on two more. And he's going to nail these if you give him the space. That's just soft D. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. 
it hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Sixteen seconds left to play in the third. Outside Bogdanovich. Clock at six. The three. The Pelicans pull it in. Here's Murphy. And that's not going to go. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. The Hawks on top, running away with it. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. In it forward, it's Ingram and Williamson. C.J. McCollum is out there with Josh Richardson. And it's Valanchunas in at the five. That's the Pelicans' five. Now he was terrific shooting the ball in the first half, but he looks a little bit slower out there. Possibly leg tired here in the second half. Now here's Valanchunas. And he banks in the layup. Well, this is why you got to move Valanchunas farther away from the basket. Even when he's guarded like that, he's still going to make shots inside. Here's Murray. off the glass. Williamson against Collins. And Williamson gets it to go. And some pinball action out there as defenders just bouncing off of Williamson on that play. And it's Atlanta's ball. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Richardson against Murray. few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Good D by Richardson. And here's Ingram. Valanchunas with a screen on Hunter. Here's Ingram. Again, the Pelicans. Good for two. And Ingram really can handle either part of that. He can roll. He could be the screener. And then he could roll. Or he could score off. A nice option. Now here's Hunter. Pass to a Kongwu. Side Young puts up a three, and it's Richardson with the rebound. He's trying to force his way into a rhythm, but that's not helping the team. And Williamson throws it down. I like seeing Josh Richardson distribute the ball, especially when his teammates are wide open. That makes for an easy pass. For Atlanta, they've got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I see the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, DeJounte Murray. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Yeah, they were on thin ice in this series. He knew it. And he went out there and did something about it. He wasn't about to let them go into a 3-1 hole. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Quinn Snyder had some words for his team over the break. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Thank you for that, Allie. The free throw drops from Murray. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. That one falls, so he hits both of them. On offense, here are the Pelicans. They've outscored them 10 to 2 during this run. Outside Richardson. Ingram with the ball. And Capella picks him up defensively. 
And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, when Ingram is this aggressive offensively, the refs knows it too. That free throw, good from Ingram. Both free throws good from Ingram. They're doing some good work at the line this half. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Pass to Murray. Back to Young. Murray, a screen on McCullum. Here's Young. They kick it out to Murray. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got six assists now in the game. And the scoring is one thing, but Young's ability to set his teammates up just as important. The Pelicans have gotten off to a perfect 5-for-5 five five so far in the fourth. Ingram finds Valanchunas. Now McCullum. Valanchunas with a screen on Young. McCullum with it. And Capella picks him up defensively. And he comes up with a bucket. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? The Hawks have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Collins with a screen on Richardson. Murray against Richardson. 13 feet out. Murray's shot is good. Murray's got 37. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Young against McCullum. Let's it go from 14. Rebounded by the Hawks. Outside Murray. Outside Young. Pass to Capella. Shots blocked. Williamson passes to McCullum. Back to Williamson. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. I mean, the excitement around Zion is completely undeniable. He's so explosive, and he's so dynamic. It'll be interesting to see where he can take his talents. Now here's Young. Pass to Capella. Back to Young. Just five on the clock. Here's Collins. Releases from the wing and drills it. And the Hawks lead by 13. The Pelicans have gone seven of eight in this fourth quarter. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. McCollum with it. against Richardson. Pass to Young. Hunter with the ball. There's the triple. Pelicans cleared away. Ingram's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Hunter against Williamson. Here's McCollum. The three ball. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Hunter against Ingram to the middle. Outside Young. Hunter on the wing. Launches a three. A shot that time not on target. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. Now here's Murray. Here's Capella, and that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question, way too many empty possessions for them. McCullum with a screen on Hunter. Ingram finds McCullum. 
Shot clock at six. And, yep, it's good. McCollum's got four points this quarter. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Collins passes to Murray. Over Richardson. Murray, no good. For New Orleans, they've gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Pass to Richardson from behind the arc. Offensive board, Williamson. Hunter with some nice D. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Outside Murray. Here's Collins. It's hauled in by Zion Williamson. Williamson's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Ingram. Back to McCollum. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. McCollum's got four assists now tonight. Atlanta's gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Now Murray, guarded by Richardson. Murray against Richardson. Murray's shot is good. Murray's got 39. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Valanchunas with a screen on Hunter. Ingram, pass to Valanchunas. Well, Valanchunas is truly a mountain of a man, so good luck to anybody trying to stop him. First free throw is good. And they've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. And the Hawks making a change here. Okongwu's checked in. Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Shot clock at five. Here's Young. And down it goes. Two points. Young's got nine points here in the second half. And Young not a stranger to nights like this where he's putting up big numbers. Here's McCollum. The shot's good. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Now Young. Pass to Okongwu. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his first foul. Murray is doubled down low. It's stolen by Ingram. Well, a little head scratcher there, guys. There's no reason to force the ball inside like that. I understand the thought process, but uh, the pass just has to be better. And really showing the athleticism. Flying solo. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity. Get inside. Move that ball around. Just make sure you score. Here's McCullum. A minute 58 left in the fourth quarter. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Murray. Pass to Young. Back to Murray. And he lobs it up to the rim. McCullum with a steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Blocked. Now here's Young. And we've got 118 left in the fourth. Rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Junis has got six rebounds in the game. And this has been quite a championship series. A pivotal win in this game four for the Hawks. And they were on fire tonight. Fantastic offensive performance, Grant. Yeah, B.A., they really shot the ball well. I mean, their coach has to be beyond thrilled with how well they played. And with their win tonight, the series takes on a whole new complexion.
Instead of going down 3-1, they've evened things up, and they have the momentum. Yeah, everything seemed to be working against them coming in. They responded well to the pressure, made the bigger plays. We'll see if they can build on it in Game 5. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for DeJounte Murray. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. McCollum against Young. McCollum shot is off. Young with it. Collins with a screen on McCollum. Knocks down the triple. And the Hawks lead by 17. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Richardson for three. Great D that time from Murray. So we see the Hawks taking the W here. A huge victory for them, nodding this series to two. We've got ourselves a series, folks. Neither team with much of an advantage. It's a tight one. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Trey, this is a young team. Talk about the chemistry and the connection and how you play together. Uh, I mean, you, you're around us outside of the locker room. Um, you can tell why we, why we support each other so well and the energy we have for each other on the court. I mean, it, you can tell the reason why we do that. And uh, I mean, I love this group. The connection is there on and off the court. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Game four of the NBA Finals is in the books. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. So long and good night, everyone.